video tutorials so you can use this as a point of reference for uh, using Calendly. I think this will absolutely work for your needs. Um, so uh, I cleared out all of the uh, events that were on there. I, it's best to start with a clean slate and I'll explain why in a moment. So after you've cleaned them all out, we'll start with one event at a time. So new event type, and then uh, for you and your purposes, so choose group and you're gonna choose uh, uh, create. And I'm just for my purposes, I'm gonna just say um, Kelly's class. And then in here, you can choose multiple different types of locations. For you, it would probably be um, either custom or an in-person meeting. However, I did see something interesting. These web conferences that were available in here, this is actually might be able to facilitate something that we were, we were trying to do before where we could do um, video conferences with a third party service. This would ultimately allow you to integrate this Zoom service and this is the calendaring service and if you get an account with Zoom it will facilitate that video conferencing. Um, I know that we were trying to find an easy inexpensive um, service but um, <clears throat> might be something worth exploring. Anyway, in the meantime um, this in-person meeting, I'm just going to go ahead and just choose this as the option. And uh, so let's just say Kelly's house. I can put a full address in here and that sort of thing. Um, and I can put in more details. And I'm going to hit update. And then I can put any instructions on uh, where the class is or what um, um, anything you want them to bring. And then here is a custom URL, my class. And then let's say I want to invite 15 people or as many as that. And so now um, we were seeing this before, these sets in increments of 30, 15, 45, 60 minutes like that. And that wasn't working, obviously. So we let's say we want ours in two hour increments. So I'm going to say 120. Um, and we can change that to be whatever. Um, and we'll address the other concern that you had where we saw the multiple days and the multiple increments in time. And the reason why we're seeing those is that all these additional days were already in um, these slots. So the best way to do, do with that is to click in here and then delete all of these so we can start fresh and then you can set up your calendar after the fact. So I'm going to apply this to all Mondays and then get rid of all of um, the, the days that are in here. I hit the uh, trash can, but all Wednesdays, all Thursdays, and then all Fridays. And then I'm going to apply this to, let's start with one day. In our case, we're going to do 27th. And then right now there's no time frame. So if we would have, let's say, three different classes, um, you could add these all in here. So let's say our class started at 9 o'clock in the morning. And then I'm going to say AM. And then it has to be a two-hour interval. So it would be 11 o'clock P, or excuse me, AM. And this is a thing that took me a little while to figure out. But you can't have the time frames overlapping even by a minute. So you actually have to start this one at 11.01. Um, otherwise, it, it gets upset. But it still has to be a two-hour interval. Um, so we would say 1 o'clock um, p.m. You'd think it was going to be, but it has to be a two-hour interval. So we have to say 101. Um, I don't know why it does that. That's frustrating, but that's just the way they're doing. And then so we'll do the third class at um, 102 p.m. And uh, we'll make that... Um, three o'clock two p.m. And then now that should allow us to hit, hit um, apply to January 27th only or to all Mondays. I'm going to hit apply to all those the 27th. So now we have those three days that are in that spot. If we wanted to go in here, we can change these. But um, in this instance, it only is, is it this is kind of irrelevant because we've already established the the, uh, the time of this to be a custom option. So don't be confused that, that this is a setting those time frames. Um, and we can set this to be how many events per day? We have three, so we have that already set in there if you wanted to go in here and, and 
could set that up. You can check, um, since we set those three separate events in there, and then prevent events less than how many hours difference, that sort of thing, you can figure that out. And then so um, you can also do travel time. I'm not going to worry about that, so I'm going to hit next. And um, in here, uh, just to see what that looks like, if I were to go into the calendar, um, you can see, unlike before, there was multiple days. There's only one because I got rid of those other ones. So this is what the end user would see. They click on this right here. And then here's those time slots that we've, we've established um, when they would be available. And so when they click on, let's say, the 9 o'clock, they would confirm that. And then they can put in all their information, name, email, and then whatever other criteria that we can the, that we had in there. And uh, I think we I saw an area where we can change these criteria on what questions were added. But for now, you can see um, that if they were to schedule the event, it would. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but it ultimately gets them to an area where they can add it to their calendar, and it'll go to their Google Calendar, their Microsoft Exchange Calendar, their. Um, I think it was the Apple um, calendar or that sort of thing, but you can see how, the, how easy that was to, to go in there. So if I wanted to go back and make changes, um, I certainly can just by going in here and then um, make ch changes into this area right here, or I can change the actual times um, by going into the um, edit, and then when when is that event happening, and then you can change those slots by going back in here and whenever those are in there. And that's as simple as that. Pretty easy to do. And you can apply the same thing by adding um, uh, another day in here and then saying a new interval with new days, new changes, new updates, and then apply those to um, uh, differing days. Um, and then, uh, excuse me, to carry those over to multiple days, to like to all Tuesdays and that sort of thing. So if you know they're going to be reoccurring. If you have any questions, um, we can pick that up where, wherever you want to. But other than that, I think this, uh, this covers it. I think we got it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.